This is the overview for the L5 portable tankless water heater. Now to save on time, I've already removed the front cover. You can do so by removing these two screws located here at the bottom and these two screws at the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to point out all of the individual components that make up the heater and then I'm going to explain how the heater functions. Starting here with your gas water valve assembly. This knob here controls your water flow. This knob here controls your gas flow. Then you've got your micro switch, your over temp sensor, your gas solenoid, your ignition pack and battery box assembly, your ignition pins, flame sensor, burner assembly, and your thermocouple. Now, water flows in through the water inlet, which pushes on a plunger and actuates your micro switch. The micro switch sends a signal to the ignition pack to start the ignition process. At the same time, it sends a signal to the gas solenoid to open and allow the gas to flow up into the burner. Now, once this has happened and it's ignited the flame, this is where the flame sensor takes over. If the flame sensor detects a flame, it'll stop the ignition process. If it doesn't detect a flame, it will continue to try to ignite until a flame is present. The thermocoupler is like a backup heat sensor. If it doesn't sense that there's a flame inside, it'll shut the unit down to prevent any further gas flow from getting through and causing damage. Down here is your overtemp sensor. Your overtemp sensor is like a failsafe. If the temperature of the water gets to be too high for the unit to handle safely, it'll shut the unit down to prevent any further damage. And this concludes the overview for the L5 portable tankless water heater.